Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm making a Christmas card and this is for the Ink Stamp Share Blog Hop and this, the theme this um, month is a tic-tac-toe or for our UK viewers, this is a noughts and crosses. So, um, for instance, we have um, Christmas in boss and circle, and then it's like a square and a birthday embellishment, whatever. And you have to choose which way you so you can go this way, you can go this way, you can go across. And I have gone for Christmas in boss and circle. So I have to use all of those elements in my finished project. And so today I'm using two stamp sets: the Hearts Come Home, the Making Christmas Bright. I'm using this little circle from um, Making Christmas Bright and I'm using um, a sentiment and one of these little houses as well from that stamp set. So, and I'm making a square card today just to be a little bit different. I'm doing a 5x5 five five card. So I'm going to bring in my pieces that I've got here. So I'm using crumb cake and this is 10 by 5 and I've scored it at 5 and that is going to be my card base. And then I have um, soft sea foam, and I've cut this at four and a half by four and a half square, so that's going to go on the top there. And then I'm using pool party, and this is one of the um, layering circles, and I've used whisper white, and again I've cut this circle out using the um, stitched shapes. Let's come in a tiny bit, and I also have another one of the stitched shapes there with the smallest circle and then I've cut this snowflake out now where is this from? this snowflake comes from um, oh I've got it here here it is the seasonal layers it's one of the dies from there and I've cut it in real red and I've made it um, so it's got some self adhesive backing on the back of it you don't need to pop all these bits out because we're not going to see them and that's all the f oh and there is a piece of whisper white as well a piece of whisper white that's going to go inside our card so there's somewhere to write so we're going to start by doing a little bit of stamping so we can get one of these okay i'm be i'm going to be using the little house from uh from the hearts come home forgotten what it was called already i'm using pool party so i'm going to ink up my house and I'm going to put it in my smallest circle there it is put that to one side while it dries and then this one I'm using the um, like the reef from the um, making Christmas bright and we're going to be using the soft sea foam which I didn't get out okay here it is And this will fit nicely onto the circle. There we go. That's not that's not stamped very well. Luckily, I have another one ready to go. There we go. That one's a bit better. Okay. So let's bring this back in. And I've lost my snowflake already. Okay, let's bring this in. And this, so basically we're going to be building, there it is, building the layers up. And I'm going to put this at the at the back of, um, of my little house. So I'm actually going to stick it to, the, to this one. I'm going to put that in the middle there and I'm going to pop that up on some dimensionals I always think I have everything ready this when, I, when I'm starting to film of course when I start filming I don't have it all in front of me so that is just going to pop on there and we don't need that anymore and I'm going to just glue this onto here So this is obviously 
the circle part of my um, noughts and crosses stroke tic-tac-toe and it's also Christmas because I'm making a Christmas card okay now I'm going to be bringing in my um, soft sea foam and I'm going to run this through an embossing folder and I'm using the softly falling I've got it around the wrong way and so we're going to have lots of softly falling snow so I'm just going to run this through my big shot okay so now I've done that doesn't that look great so this is going to be no, which way does it go? This way. So I'm going to have my circle in the middle of my embossing. So now I've covered all of my criteria. It's Christmas, it's embossing and there's circles. I'm going to actually decorate my um, little topper here a little bit more. And I have some of these um, these are the twinkle adhesive back sequins and I use them all the time this is my third pack I absolutely love them and I'm just going to randomly place them round my um, reef here and when you use them you have to make sure you pick up the little sticky bit on the back because sometimes you can leave it on the plastic and then obviously it's not going to stick Oh, got it stuck to me. Fun there. I think I'll have another one over there. Because you can always order another pack. There we go. And I was thinking about bringing in some of these as well. The um, the basic jewels. What do I think? Is this going to work? I don't have my little pokey tools. So I'm just <laughs> trying to use my scissors here. I think I'm going to put some of these on as well. Okay, so I've I've put. Can you see all the sparkles now? I've got all those lovely stars, and I've got my little. Well, I'm going. I'm going to call them berries around the edge, and um, I'm going to put this this way around, Linda. I'm going to put this in the middle of here. Now I'm toying with putting a sentiment on this as well. Uh, I can't decide. I think I quite like it without a sentiment. But you could put a sentiment on there. Right, now where's my base? I'm going to bring my base in. And I'm going to stick that down. Such a simple card. Once once you've done all your um, die cutting, it goes together quite quickly. There we go push that down right and I'm going to bring in my my this is a four and a half by four and a half whisper white and I'm going to do a tiny bit of stamping I'm using um, one of the stamp sets we used before come out a bit okay and I'm going to be using all hearts come home for Christmas and I'm going to be doing that in real red which I did have out and now I've lost Oh, I've put it away. I tied it up, and I'm just going to pop that in the middle. Oh, upside down. Luckily, it wasn't in the card. And then I'm just going to bring in my um, corner punch, and I'm just going to just um, turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to punch this little decorative little bit in the corner there. Give it a little bit of something more. And then I'm going to stick this in here. And then it's finished. And obviously, you can do different colours for this. And let me show you. I did another one earlier and I've... I've done one in real red as well. Come in a little bit so you can see. 
I've done real red and I've used um, garden green here. One of well, it's the same house actually. I put a little star there. I put some of the, my little berries around there. I've used a different stamp there, and that was from Foxy Friends. And I've just curled it round itself and stamped it a few times, so it's made a Christmas wreath. And then a, the different embossing background. But inside, I've done pretty much the same. I've used the same stamps there. I've done a little bit of. Um, I've used my markers there, so I've done green, uh, garden green and real red there. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and another thing you could do, you could actually um, just use the topper that you've made as a gift tag. Just punch a little hole through, put a bit of um, ribbon or um, baker's twine in there and you've got a matching gift tag. I hope you enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks, bye.